Hey everyone, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. Big thanks to Tommy for the cool drone footage used in the opening. Also big thanks to Mike and Sean out at Dallas Karting Complex for their help. I discovered a broken clutch just before qualifying and with their help was able to get another one on the cart. Made qualifying and I'm starting sixth in this eight lap pre-final in the 100cc senior class. I'm gonna look to my left here, looking for Adam the flag man, looking for green. Green flag, here we go. We're gonna take it easy through turn one. Now back on the throttle, full blast, along with everyone else, the race is on, here we go. We gather the card up, it's really slick out here, don't wanna spin out, I'm in a bad spot here, I have to be really patient with the throttle. Get passed by a couple of cards here. I'm gonna be on the bottom of turn three. And come out in seventh spot. One change I did make, for this race compared to last the last month's race was I went with a bigger sprocket. I added three more teeth to it. So what that does or what it feels like is the cart accelerates a lot faster out of the corners than with the other sprocket I had prior. So it feels pretty punchy, but you have to be careful because you can easily spin the cart out if you get on the throttle too fast, too soon. Right there, cart 11 is battling for the spot. Have to be careful through here. Don't want to slide up the track and hit him. It's really slick each other plenty of room come out of the corner now I want you to listen to the engine see right there it kind of bogged down for a second the cart felt kind of bound up too for just a little bit I didn't know what happened until I looked at the footage going backwards so here's the footage this is what happened coming out of that corner it's a decent right there we get crossed up bumper over bumper I'm gonna slow do it in slow motion here you can see how much he is in between my rear tire and my rear bumper. Really dangerous situation. Very fortunate for both of us that we were able to separate and keep going. That was not a good situation. Glad nothing happened there. Recent slides out there a little bit. I go underneath. And it's cart 11 and watch this. In slow motion, he starts to spin out. I go to the outside. I don't feel like I can go to the bottom. There's just not any grip. I'm gonna go around him. Unfortunately, Vicent and another driver got collected and cart six passed me, but I was able to drive away. If you look to the right and to the left, you can see a lot of water on the track. It's also real visible in the opening shots. If you go off track, you're going to get in some mud in these carts. In case you didn't know, they don't do very well in the mud. Battling cart six here for seventh spot. You have to be really careful through here. There's a barrier on the left. If you hit that thing, your day is over. You can hear how much we're working the throttle here. It's not just full blast or brakes. You're kind of having to, to work the throttle just a little bit. And here's an example of if you just momentarily get distracted, what can happen. And watch what happens to me coming out of the turn two right here on the right hand turn. I'm gonna look over my right shoulder as I'm still kind of sliding and watch what happens. I almost lose the cart, go off track. I have to roll off the throttle to save it, and then as a result, I lose a spot to 16 right there. So although it looks dry, it rained the day before really bad, and this track's a brand new track, it's really slick in general. Like there is zero grip out here. And we're constantly fighting the cart, all of us are, to try to keep it under control. And you can tell by how everyone's kind of drifting and slide around the corners and by how much like my hands are moving on the steering wheel, like trying to control the cart back and forth. Usually, the steering wheel is not supposed to move that much, both left and right. You can see how much it's moving in these shots here. Now watch this right here. I roll off the throttle to avoid going off track. I'm gonna slow motion it. Some water got kicked onto the track right here. And I see it right. There, I go off the throttle, you can hear me, and then look, I'm turning left, it's not doing anything. It finally bites just a little bit. I'm able to get back on the throttle and drive away. There's been a few already in the first three laps instances where things could have gone really bad, you know, really quickly, but we were luckily able to drive away from every situation.
kind of hanging out behind these guys, waiting for something to kind of happen to so I can try to take advantage, take a spot away. I'm going to slow the cart up in this corner and not go really deep. Be right there next to the curb and get a good drive coming out of here. So much we're sliding here. There's a little grip right there actually on the track. Probably the only place on the track that has just a little grip. Now remember, it's wet here in this left-hander, so I'm going to go a little wide right there to try to avoid hitting some water. One thing, too, I was going to say, as far as when I rolled off the throttle to um, avoid going off track, when I was brand new in the karting, your instinct is to hit the brakes. And these things only have rear brakes, so if you hit them too hard, you're going to lock them up, or you're going to spin and you just end up being an obstacle for everyone else. So you have to fight the urge to hit the brake. So slowly over time, I've kind of learned that it's best just to roll off the throttle, maybe drag the brake a little bit, meaning that I am applying some pressure to the brake, but not nearly enough to lock them up, and just kind of steer around the problem. It is typically what I've found to be the best thing, and that's you know after listening to some advice from some uh, a lot more experienced carters and I think they were giving me good advice there because it, uh, it seemed to kind of have worked out for me as I progressed in carting a little bit, get a little bit more experience and seeing some of these situations come up. And again, it's a little wet to the bottom here. I'm going to keep it a little wide through there. If you want to survive, we have one more race after this. Pretty odd out here, going as trying to go as fast as you can, but also having to constantly fight the cart to keep it under control. Right there, do not get a good drive, and watch this. We both get a really bad entry into that corner, really screw that one up. So you got to be careful too when you're following someone. Instinctively, you just want to follow them wherever they go, and sometimes if they miss a line, you can miss a line with them but I think I missed that one on my own. This next left-hander is probably dry, so we're gonna go take our regular line through there and proceed as normal. He almost hits the wall there, two to go. Get a better drive coming out of here. We're going to find ourselves next to him. We're going to try to drag race him into this corner here and really bring the cart down under control. Get a good exit. It's clear. I'm going to go in front of him. Get eighth spot here. And right there, cart 16 loses it. We get a free one there, and we'll take it. So that is cart 73 just ahead. We've got about a lap and a half. I'm going to see if I can get one more spot and end up in sixth spot exactly where I started. You can see me really fighting the cart through here. And again, having to roll off the throttle because I just screwed the turn up. It's a lot of fun to drive on this track, but it's also a lot of work. You're just very busy trying to drive these cars. And this track changes. One, you know, one day it could be three seconds faster than the last time you were out here. Um, four seconds slower, just all depends. We're all still getting used to it. Last lap, let's see if we can get a spot here. I make up some pretty good time. And then right here, he rolls off the throttle and I go around him. I talked to him after the race and what happened was he thought the race was over and rolled off the throttle and I was able to pass him. You can see two other carts going around him. Right about here he probably realizes the race is still on. He just got confused. And I could definitely see how that could happen. And I guarantee you he won't do that again. Now right here, I really screwed this up. Look how deep I go into the corner. You really have to check up to avoid going out into the mud. Look behind us, we're still okay. 
just a few more corners left, and we're going to bring this home in sixth spot and survive this race, which I think has been pretty eventful for just a few laps. We've had a lot of action happen, and luckily I've been able to drive away from all of it. Just one more turn left, and we are home free. All right, checkered flag, sixth spot. We'll take it. Car's running, and it seems to be running pretty well. So we're going to start in sixth in the final race. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this race. Also, leave me any questions you may have. I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy.